Welcome back to the channel, Globetrotters. Are you ready to uncover which nations top the charts for rudeness? Buckle up for the 20 rudest countries in the world. Prepare for some eyebrow-raising insights and maybe a few laughs as we navigate this fascinating list. 1. France, a dazzling gem of beauty and culture, draws millions of tourists yearly, enchanted by its stunning landscapes and rich history. Yet, you might hear that the locals have a reputation for being rude. There's even a 30% chance of encountering this aloofness. This perception arises from the French straightforward way of speaking and their strong emphasis emphasis on manners and formality, which can feel distant or cold to those unfamiliar. But don't worry, you'll find the French charm irresistible once you get used to these cultural quirks. Enjoy the adventure, love the pastries, and remember that what seems rude is often just a different way of interacting. Understanding this will make your trip even more enjoyable. 2. Moving on to number 2, Russia is a land of stark contrasts, with its sprawling landscapes, rich history, and vibrant culture, attracting around 13.1 million visitors in the previous years. Despite this, there's a wrong side to its hospitality. Many travelers find Russians to be somewhat rude. Why, you ask? Russians are known for their blunt and direct communication style, which can come off as brusque or unfriendly to those used to more polite niceties. This reputation is reinforced by stories of rowdy behavior abroad, such as swearing in public or being overly assertive in social situations. But don't let this deter you. 3. The UK is another country with a reputation for rudeness, ranking notably high in surveys on discourteous behavior. In fact, Bristol holds the title of the UK's rudest city, with common complaints including not respecting personal space and being noisy in public. This perception often stems from a few critical behaviors considered rude by British standards, such as not saying please and thank you, jumping cues, and failing to engage in small talk. While these actions might seem minor, they can paint a picture of unfriendliness to those unfamiliar with British etiquette. 4. Germany is renowned for its strict adherence to rules and formal behavior, often perceived as rigid and unfriendly. Germans highly value punctuality and efficiency, so don't be late. Their communication communication style is direct and to the point, which can seem blunt, but is meant to be transparent and efficient. Interestingly, about 35% of people surveyed in a global study considered Germans to have a somewhat rude demeanor. Despite these perceptions, Germany is a worldwide leader in wind and solar power, reflecting their commitment to planning and orderliness. This dedication to renewable energy shows their innovative spirit and forward-thinking approach, contributing significantly to environmental sustainability. While the cultural emphasis on rules and efficiency may seem daunting, it ensures a well-organized and smoothly functioning society. 5. China, ranked fifth for perceived rudeness, often gets this reputation due to cultural differences in public behavior and social norms. Speaking loudly and showing strong public emotions is typical and expected in China. For those of us from quieter cultures, this can come across as a bit boisterous or even rude. But here's the scoop. The Chinese value collectivism and social harmony. So what seems rude is often a different way of expressing social norms. Now let's dive into some fun facts. Did you know China has the most internet users in the world? That's right, it's a tech giant. Plus, China leads globally in wind and solar power, showing its rapid advancement and commitment to renewable energy. 6. The U.S. is often seen as loud and entitled, and Americans are known for being direct and individualistic, which can sometimes seem reckless. They love speaking their minds and are comfortable with confrontation if it helps achieve their goals. Did you know the U.S. scores a whopping 91 on Hofstede's Individualism Index, one of the highest in the world? This cultural trait emphasizes personal freedom and self-reliance, making Americans appear confident but sometimes loud. But here's a positive side. This individualism fosters innovation and entrepreneurial spirit. The U.S. is home to Silicon Valley, a global hub of tech startups and innovation. Americans' directness often translates into straightforward communication, which is valued in business for clarity and efficiency. So while the volume and entitlement might be a bit much, it's also part of what drives the dynamic, innovative spirit that characterizes the U.S. 7. Here's another one, guys. Italy is often seen as impatient and pushy due to their experience expressive and passionate way of communicating. Italians speak with emotion and gestures, making conversations lively and animated. They can be pretty immediate, which might seem pushy if you're not used to it. Fun fact, Italy is home to 59 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the most in the world. So, while they might seem intense, their love for life and culture is unmatched. 8. Have you ever been in Spain and thought, wow, this place is loud? Well, you're not alone. Spaniards' expressive and animated way of talking can feel like an assault on the senses. The rapid-fire conversations, the frequent interruptions, it's enough to make anyone's head spin, and let's not forget those long siestas. Just when you need to run chores, everything's closed. It's a cultural thing, but it cannot feel friendly to visitors. Learning about Spain's vibrant, passionate lifestyle isn't for the faint-hearted. 9. India, a sensory overload in every sense. The chaos, the crowds, the constant honking, it's all part of the package. Beyond the hustle, India offers an incredible blend of culture, history, and flavors. From the majestic Taj Mahal to the fantastic festivals like Diwali and Holi, India is a land of wonders 
With its rich spices and diverse regional dishes, the food alone is a feast for the senses. However, the directness of the locals can hit you like a ton of bricks. Personal space? Forget about it. Street vendors and beggars are persistent. Bargaining is the norm, and aggressive sales tactics can annoy you. India can come off as downright rude to those not used to this hustle and bustle. It's a cultural whirlwind that's both fascinating and formidable. 10. Israel is often seen as one of the rudest countries because of the Israelis' plain-spoken communication style. They value honesty and will speak their mind without much regard for sugarcoating, which can feel abrasive to outsiders. The fast-paced life in cities like Tel Aviv and the lack of small talk or formalities can seem rude to those from more reserved cultures. The high-stress environment and constant security concerns also contribute to a more direct and sometimes aggressive way of interacting with others. 11. Again, Argentina is known for its passionate and expressive communication style, which can be perceived as impotent or aggressive. Argentinians tend to speak loudly and use a lot of hand gestures, which can be overwhelming. Also, their directness in conversations and habit of interrupting can come off as rude. The chaotic nature of cities like Buenos Aires, with its intense traffic and crowded public spaces, can also contribute to this perception of rudeness. 12. After visiting Greece, have you ever felt like Greeks are yelling even when chatting? It's part of their lifestyle. Their loud, expressive way of talking can seem intense. Then there's the relaxed vibe with long breaks and unpredictable public transport, a mix that screams organized chaos. Tourists sometimes feel overcharged and meet some grumpy service staff, especially in busy areas. This cocktail of loudness, disorganization, and a dash of unfriendliness can make Greece seem one of the rudest places to visit. 13. Istanbul, the city that never sleeps. Will you feel it? The constant noise and aggressive driving can be quite the sensory overload. Turkish vendors? They're in a league of their own, super persistent, almost like they're in a sales marathon. And let's not forget the blunt way people talk. Despite this, Istanbul is a melting pot of history and culture. You can explore the stunning Hagia Sophia, savor delicious kebabs, and sip on Turkish tea while overlooking the Bosphorus. Yet, be ready for the hustle. Personal space is a luxury, and street hawkers will test your bargaining skills. Add cultural quirks like jealousy and relationships, and Turkey can feel too in your face for the unprepared traveler. But you'll discover a vibrant, dynamic city that's utterly unforgettable. 14. Mexicans can come across as rude due to cultural differences that outsiders might not understand. Their communication style can be coarse, and they often use blunt language, which can seem impolite. Besides, there's a strong emphasis on formal greetings and farewells. Failing to do so can be perceived as disrespectful. Social norms, such as always offering something to guests and dressing appropriately for the occasion, are essential, and not sticking to these can be seen as rude. Which of these countries have you found rude? Let us know your personal stories in the comment section below. If you love this video, here's another must watch. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next of Earth Basics.